Hey guys, good morning and welcome back to World of Tanks. It's Jaeger 262 and today I finally got my most wanted vehicle in World of Tanks, or at least one of them, and my most wanted for this event out of the predicted list. So again, this list is actually probably accurate. I want to say that because I get all the tanks we've gotten so far have appeared on the list just out of order. So I don't know when they'll come, but I think it's safe to say that there won't be any more surprises going forward in this event. Now, hopefully I get this video out in time. I'm trying to rush it, but it might be sold out by the time I put this video up. And in the future, let me know in the comments below, I was thinking about doing the rest of the days. We have about three more days left. And I was just going to do one video at night of both tanks together, or if you would prefer a video for each vehicle. Anyway, this tank is special because it was part of the original three founder packs along with the E6 mutant or M6 sorry the M6 mutant and the Soviet BTSV and ever since that original selling I think that was in 2010 they started selling that now World of Tanks released officially in 2011 but to be a part of that release and the beta leading up to it you got one of these packs they did a light tank, medium tank, and heavy tank. Now I don't remember when it was the first when it was first sold following that point because just like the mutant, it was supposed to be never sold again. But obviously, World of Tanks has sold it a couple of times. But the only time I remember was in really expensive bundles for things like premium time, which is kind of what they're doing with the BTSV now, or alone for about a hundred dollars I can't remember it was something crazy if anybody does remember let me know but it is one of the first premium vehicles if not the first premium vehicle in the game it is incredibly unique and it's a part of World of Tanks history I know I already said that with the Death Star but these are both very special tanks the Death Star is obviously more special than the Hydro but I wanted the Hydro just because the vehicle itself is unique outside of World of Tanks and they're selling them I just got mine at a, about 1200 units so hopefully there's still some available and hopefully you guys go and get it it is being sold for 6.5 million credits that's 2.5 less than the Canavran that I got yesterday which makes me wish I had waited for this one to save a little bit more credits as you can see I'm about at 27 million credits from 43 but I'm very happy with this vehicle and that's pretty cheap all things considered in my opinion and so I don't know how many units are left because I already purchased it but let me show you a little bit about why this vehicle is unique and then I'll get this video up and I'll do stats for this vehicle and do a review later on but this vehicle is one of a few prototypes where they used a water engine or a hydraulic engine, so an engine run by water hydraulics, which is what this giant hump on the back is and what these are for, these vents. Now, the reason this happened is because in the later years of World War II, the Germans were running out of fuel and were experimenting. You'll see pictures of half tracks with gigantic canisters for wood burning engines. They had coal burning vehicles and they experimented with just water and hydraulics and so the vehicle really didn't take off it wasn't like a crazy prototype but it was unique to look at and as far as tanks go it's just funny I mean it's got a huge ass <laughs> and so aside from it being one of the first in World of Tanks I just really liked the actual vehicle I thought it was an interesting tank and I'm just happy to have one. I was really hoping we would get this vehicle. It was on the list, so I thought it maybe I was in luck. It was either going to be this or the Mutant. And so I'm glad it was this one. And I think the stats are pretty much all identical to the Panzer IV-H. Um, but again, I'll do that in a later video so that I can get this one out to you guys. Hopefully while there's still time. And the video for the Canavan will probably come out later today at this same time. Depending on what happens. But hopefully you pick one up. I'm very happy to have this. This event's really fun for me. I'll be making another video at 8 p.m. tonight about the tank then. And again, let me know in the comments if you'd rather just see one video per day with two for the next three days. Or if you don't mind the two tank videos going up. 
And as always, thank you so much for your support. Thank you for watching these videos. Thank you for making these videos incredibly popular, for engaging with me in the, and talking about World of Tanks. I love doing that. I love doing these videos because of it. And hopefully I'll see you guys on the battlefield. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to get notified for the next three or four videos that I'm going to be making on the Black Market event or the subsequent reviews of all the premium tanks that I get during this event, please subscribe to the channel. The support is always appreciated. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Sincerely, thank you. It means so much to me to have this many people engage with me on something that I love and a game that we all love. And I will see you next time.